Hello, my name is uh, Hugh Farm, um, and this is my wife Kim. And I have been uh, with Saint Anthony Paris uh, since the early '80s. Um, we both from Vietnam. Hi, everybody. Well, my name is Alan, um, and I come from Wales, part of Great Britain, and that's where I was born and bred and educated. My name is Carlos Aldana Barrada. Soy del Estado de Hidalgo. Uh, Hi, my name is Danny Rauda, and I was born in Los Angeles, California, but both my parents and two older brothers are from El Salvador. My name is Miriam Marston. I was born and raised in a city right outside of Washington, D.C., in a place called Alexandria, Virginia. Hello, everyone. I'm Father Peter. Um, I'm a uh, uh, vicar here at St. Anthony Parish. I'm from Vietnam. I was born in Vietnam and I grew up here in Portland, Oregon uh, since I was 10 years old. My name is Monica Fine and I was born and raised in Poland in a small town named Szczecinek. Hola, buenos dias. Mi nombre es Rafael Palacios. Soy oriundo de Colombia. I'm Carol McPherson. Guevara is my middle initial or middle name. And uh, we're from the Philippines. It's my family was uh, one of the luckiest uh, family that was able to escape Vietnam a day before the um, South uh, Saigon collapse. So we were um, brought to uh, Subic Bay, Philippines, and then after that uh, moved to um, Guam. And from Guam, we brought to uh, Camp Ellington uh, in California in the refugee camps. After that, my family was um, uh, sponsored by a uh, Catholic parish in, in Hawaii, and we settled there for three years. Um, after that, we had some friends here and was uh, moved here for um, to, to stay and then start our, our life uh, here um, in Oregon. Well, uh, I've been here um, um, for about um, 30 years. My wife is American, and we met uh, in Europe when she was traveling in Europe and uh, we ended up together. We got married in Wales, in fact, in my uh, local church in, in my little village on the coast called Porth Call, anyway. Uh, and we got married there. And then it was a toss up as to where we were gonna live. So we made a conscious decision to come to the United States, even though my background was from the UK. We were fine as we were in the UK, but we just wanted uh, to have uh, a good education for our kids, maybe better opportunities for me. My wife, it's her home country. Um, I didn't even come here till I was 50. We've been um, part of the St. Anthony's community um, f ever since we came here. We've been, yeah, we've been lucky. Um, the immigration experience for us has worked out extremely well. Tengo aproximadamente 16 años aquí en Estados Unidos. Significa tener uh, grandes posibilidades para salir adelante, ya que venimos a este país a buscar más oportunidades y tenemos la oportunidad de poder seguir educándonos, uh, teniendo mejor posibilidad en los trabajos, y es una, una experiencia muy bonita y creo que aquí tenemos muchas oportunidades. I've been living here since I was born, so about 31 years, and this is my immigrant experience. When I think about my connection to the immigrant experience, I think about this famous scene from the movie Selena, which is a Mexican-American singer. And in the scene, she is talking to her dad and her two older brothers, trying to, con trying to convince her dad to go um, and have a concert in Mexico. Now, she's not from Mexico. She was born in, in Texas, I believe. And her dad is saying, no, 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 you can't. And he's, he has this famous line that I, that I really resonate with. He's like, you can't go because when you go to Mexico, you have to be as Mexican as the Mexicans are. When you perform in America, you have to be as American as the Americans are. You have to be twice as perfect. And it's exhausting. Nobody knows what it's like to be in a Mexican-American. And the first time I heard that, I was I, it touched my heart so much because it, that's my immigrant experience, right? I, I don't know how many people know what it's like to live in two worlds, navigating 
you know, your, your family's culture while navigating the culture that you live in. Um, let's see, on my dad's side, they've been here for generations from like England, Scotland, that area. Um, but on my mom's side, we have this French American connection in our family. So uh, my mother uh, was born and grew up uh, in the west of France, a few hours from Paris. Um, and uh, but she met my dad when he was studying abroad um, as an American. They met, fell in love, got married in France, but then moved to Virginia. Is it was really important for my parents that we kind of grew up with a sense of the two languages and the two cultures being really present in our home. So this means that until I started school, we only really spoke um, French in the house and then kind of back and forth between French and English. And then we would just, I know as a family, we would just have certain cultural traditions um, from both sides of the family. And um, I was thinking, especially with uh, the, the French side, um, one of the things that came to mind was coming around our favorite meal. The, the food originates from where my mother's from in France, and it's, uh, it's called a galette or a crepe, which is like a really flat pancake. And you just dump a lot of ingredients in it. Those were the types of traditions really kind of Looking back, I realized so much of it, so much of the traditions happened around the table, happened around the dinner table. Another big tradition in France is you celebrate your, um, like your saint day. <laughs> so, and that's like, uh, like a mini birthday. So that was a really beautiful tradition growing up as well. And uh, this is where, and up here is a quite a long journey, of course, uh, the, my grandparents and my parents or uh, grandparents are boat people who escaped Vietnam by boat and they give first and then for a long journey they take out my family over here in 1996 and of course uh, immigrate, migration over here in this uh, country is, is quite uh, difficult for me because uh, pretty much I grew up in two different cultures uh, Vietnamese and American culture at the same time so to adapt into this, uh, this culture is quite uh, a, a lot of effort, a lot of times and, and work that I need, to, I need to put on, especially learning English. Uh, it's not that easy. I have lived in the United States, States for 22 years now, and my whole family is still back in Poland, except for my youngest brother, who is now also living in Oregon. Growing up during the fall of communism in Poland, I have many memories that are drastically different from my life today in the United States. Some of my early memories as a child are standing in line for hours to get some sugar, not being able to leave the house during military hours. I remember being sick all the time. Um, there was just no variety of foods available. And especially during winters, I arrived to Oregon at the age of 18 to go to school on a tennis scholarship. My dad taught me tennis as soon as I was able to walk and it quickly became my job. Um, four to six hours a day, seven days a week. Um, people thought my parents were crazy, but it paid off. I became a number one player in my country in many age categories, and it opened a lot of doors, and I get to travel the world um, and see a lot of it. Eh, ingresé a Estados Unidos en el año 2000 debido a todas las dificultades que sufría nuestro país en cuanto a terrorismo, inestabilidad política, violencia y crimen. Eh, me mudé con mi familia, eh, somos cuatro hijos, son cuatro hijos, y venían dos nietos conmigo eh, al cabo de un año dos de mis hijas se casaron acá tuvieron dos eh, dos nietos nuevos y esa es mi familia hemos estado viviendo en Oregon por 20 años they've been here for 20 years I'm so happy that we were you know immigrated yes our country yes we uh, we love our country, but, uh, you know, sometimes we have to, to take some experience like coming here. I was uh, one of the book people back in the 80s. So with a lot of um, dangerous time, I almost died out there uh, three times in the oceans and then um, floating for nine days without food, without water. And um, 
we barely ready to die. And uh, my faith was uh, also uh, starting growing at the time. I was baptized when I was in the boat, in the ocean. So I became Catholic at the most uh, incredible time in my life. 